what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel how you doing today's my monthly favorites video I have a lot of stuff because I didn't do a June favorites so this is gonna be like a collab not a collab combination video of June and July so we're gonna talk about the non makeup items first um I don't think I've ever done my clothing items first so let's do that got this jacket in June and this is from Fashion Nova. Oh my goodness, when I tell you I am an adornment, is that a word? It's just the perfect denim jacket. And denim always works because denim is life. Like, if you don't have anything denim in your closet, I don't know what's wrong with you. It's distressed, it's got all these rips and tears in it. I think that makes it more breezy and more fun. For the summer, it's not as structured, it's very loose. Do you know how some denim jackets are like super structured? This one's not stiff at all and I really like that about it. And it's just, it's so comfy. Fashion Nova, you need to bring this jacket back because I know it's sold out. Another thing that I love that I bought in July are Birkenstocks. Who wants to spend $135 on some Jesus sandals? Probably not you. But let me just tell you, these saved my life. I've been traveling a lot and I was having issues with my feet hurting me because I have really flat feet. I try to fix my arch and correct my arch but if I do it too much in really flat shoes that have no support, my arch falls. And it causes my arches and my knees and my back to hurt really bad. They have corrective surgery for it, but I'm not about that surgery life. These have a tremendous arch support in them. When I tell you I put these on and my life was changed, my ankles immediately stopped hurting. Cheap is not always the best way to go, okay? If you wear cheap sandals a lot and your feet are flat, you're hurting yourself. So stop it. Don't play yourself. Cheap will cost you in the long run. So go ahead and invest in some ugly grandpa sandals and get your life together. Art support, art support, art support. Okay, so I have an app this month. And I know a lot of you guys have seen this app floating around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break it to you. When I heard about Best Fiends for the first time, it was from a promotion, of course. But I didn't think I would be addicted to it. Like, I'm being completely honest with you guys. I didn't think that I would like it because there are plenty of games out there that people tell you to play and you're like, okay, why? And you check them out and it's like, eh. This one, I actually really enjoy. So this is Best Fiends and basically what you're doing is you are playing with these bugs to reach the different goals on the side of the board. Each bug has a object that corresponds with them and then like you would get as many objects as you can in that color and it gives the bugs power to kill the slugs and you also want to reach the goals on the side so you want to collect you know the certain amount they have or if there's like different obstacles they have in the game you want to like beat those obstacles you can get these gifts to help you with the game make sure you play on sunday because they'll have a free gift for you guys i've been playing it for a little while now and it's pretty addictive like i can't stop playing it because it's a really good like puzzle game i like puzzle games because they keep me engaged and I play them when I'm on the plane because you don't need Wi-Fi or data to play the game. It's a really good toilet game, so if you wanted to play it while you're on the toilet, you know what I'm saying, pop a squat. Yeah, if you want to play, click the link in the description box. I'll have the link in there. You can also check it out on Google Play or the Apple Store. It is free, so you don't have to pay for it. I'm on level 33, so let me know what level you're on on Twitter and I'll tweet you back and we can have a little internet battle. So moving on from my app of the month, I have two new hair products, well not new, but I do enjoy them quite thoroughly. This is Trader Joe's Tea Tree, Tea Tringle, Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo and it says invigorate with peppermint, tea tree, and eucalyptus botanicals. It's a really good shampoo actually. I've been using this all month since I've been wearing my hair natural. As you can see, I've been wearing it natural. Also, I just bought another tub of Eco Styler Gel because this is the only gel that I use on my hair. Period, point blank. After I wash my hair, I get this gel and I just scoop it and I slap it on. I brush my edges and then I get my fingers and finger coiled through my hair and kind of pick my curls apart. I've never tried this one before, so I've been trying this one. It's the same thing as the olive oil one. To be honest, they all, all the colors are the same to me. I was traveling with this a lot um, when I was going out of town and stuff to keep my hair slick. You guys know about Eco Styler. If you don't know about Eco Styler, you're missing out on life, especially if you have natural hair, so. Um, beauty favorites that are not makeup related. You guys know I love the Dr. Bronner soap. There's no need for me to talk about it again. I just wanted to mention that I like the tea tree one now. Cause you know the peppermint one, it tingles cause it's got peppermint oil in it. And when you use it around your, uh, cause she's gotta be clean. The cat's gotta be clean, you know what I'm saying? But you know, when you get in that area with some soap, you don't wanna, first of all, you don't wanna go ham with the soap. Then you get yeast infections. So you don't wanna do that. When you get down in that area, you don't want 
anything that's gonna like burn because the peppermint soap kind of burns okay it tingles a little bit too much so if you don't like that feeling this one or any other one will work just fine so I like that this doesn't burn she don't like all that this is Kiehl's hydro plumping retexturizing serum concentrate I got this when I went to Beautycon Dallas earlier this year and I didn't use it until just recently when I was doing some research on how to keep your face from breaking out when you go on planes and they said that this was great for helping your moisturizers it's a serum and you put it on before you put on your moisturizer throughout the day it helps to retain that moisture so your skin isn't drying out so it helps oily people from getting more oily and it helps dry people from getting more dry I figured that this will work really well if I go on a plane because when you go on planes um, you know the cabin pressure and the recycled air is literally soaking the moisture out of your face like all of it and even though I have oily skin I know when my face is getting dry because first it'll get itchy and irritated like my skin will feel super especially in these areas maybe like a couple minutes later I'll get super oily and then of course when you get too oily your pores will clog and then you'll get breakout so this has kind of been helping with that I do like this a lot I feel like it works really really well it has 15% glycerin which is good for retaining moisture and I think it's worth giving a shot it is expensive but if you have this problem and you needed something to help with your moisture there you go I have a couple glam glow products I talked about these in my last video but I figured I would reiterate this is the glam glow glow starter moisturizer I don't know if I like this as much as I think I do. I think I like it simply for the fact that it smells bomb. It smells like juicy fruit gum and it's just this nude color moisturizer. I like it because it's hydrating and it's glowy but it's not greasy. It's very lightweight. It sinks into the skin really nice. I, do, I don't know if it's worth the price. I will say it is a little expensive. It's like 50 bucks. If we're being honest, this was sent to me and would I spend my money on it? I would definitely say go get a sample of it and try it, but I don't know if I would buy it. We'll see. If I run out of it and I feel like I need to go buy it again, then I'll let you know. But I've been using it before I put on my makeup and I love the way it looks once I put my makeup on top and I love how it wears throughout the day. So I will say that I am liking this, but I don't know if it's worth the 50 bucks yet. So I'll give you guys the rundown later on in life. Something I do think is worth the investment. I love the Glam Glow Plump Rageous Matte Lip Treatment and the Plump Rageous Gloss Lip Treatment. Preferably the matte one because you can wear it with different types of lipsticks. The glossy one, your lips are going to be glossy. If you have a lot of lines in your lips, I feel like this helps a lot to fill in those lines because it's plumping. Like I said before, I have big lips already, but I do appreciate that it helps to plump my lips so that my lipstick does go on a lot smoother. It doesn't settle into those creases and those lines over time. And it just gives you a juicy pout, girl, so you walk around looking ready. Why don't y'all tell me that Nivea cream was amazing? Because uh, I feel like you guys weren't telling me something. I bought this when I was in Florida. I went to Walgreens and I needed some moisturizer for my little clutch purse. I needed something flat, so I got this. I feel like this is perfect. You only need a little bit. A little goes a long way. And it's just great. It's a great moisturizer. And it's inexpensive. If you needed something on the go. Go to Walgreens in the travel section and get this because it's really nice. Moving on to the makeup. The Benefit Cut Brow. I've been talking about this for since June. I've, well, I've talked about my new brow, which if you haven't seen my brow tutorial, I will put it in the description box. And the only difference between this and, say, Dip Brow or any other brow pomade that you can get from any other brand is the packaging itself. I appreciate this packaging. I appreciate you. You smart. You loyal major key I love this packaging so much only because oh my god Kim there's a brush in the top I just can't get enough of it it's so adorable when I'm traveling which I do a lot of traveling I love to carry this in my travel bag because I don't have to put a brush in there to go with it it doesn't move it doesn't smudge um, and I don't have any issues with it it's definitely worth the money definitely 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 you should definitely try it definitely everybody's been ranting and raving about this if you're not a palette junkie and you are a first time makeup wearer or whatever and you don't wear a lot of makeup you don't need this but if you are a makeup junkie you need this does that make sense so I've been traveling with this bad boy I've been doing a lot of traveling so a lot of this stuff is travel approved this is the ABH modern renaissance palette it matches my shirt it's very very nice I will say it's one of the best palettes that I own one because the shadows are very pigmented nothing new everybody knows Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes they're 
Of course, their shadows are amazing because they're all very, very pigmented. The quality is great. Packaging is nice. It comes with a brush, a double-ended brush at that. And I think it's very, very well put together palette. I think it's well thought out. There's something for everyone in here. It does have a lot of warm, red, orange colors in it. They're very, very blendable. Like I said, if you're not a makeup junkie or you don't wear a lot of eyeshadow, this is not the first palette I would tell you to buy. But it's definitely something that is very versatile and you can use it a lot if you are a makeup junkie and you like to do eyeshadow. Another palette that I'm really enjoying, of course, would be Mama Jackie's palette. This is the e.l.f. palette, Jackie Ina, for those who don't know who Mama Jackie is. And uh, I have a hard time opening it because I'm challenged with these talons. I'm wearing it today, just in case you guys are wondering what I have on my eyes, I'm wearing it today. Great for women of color, so you can't beat that. Thank you, Mama Jackie, for doing it big. Last palette that I want to talk about, of course, is the Becca. I wanted to buy this palette myself and let you guys know if it was worth the investment because a lot of people got this palette sent to them and they ran some rave about it because it's Jaclyn. I love Jaclyn and I love Becca, but I didn't get sent this palette. I bought it with my money and I wanted to let you guys know what I thought about it personally. So let me just go ahead and give you the rundown. Basically, this is an, a beautiful gold palette. The mirror is freaking huge, so your whole face fits in it. So you can see what you're doing with your product um, and then it's got this wonderful gold packaging you got two highlighters two blushes and a blush topper I am a huge fan of rose gold you guys know this I'm a huge fan of metallic anything gold in particular rose gold for the win the blush is my favorite out of everything in here I love this blush amaretto it's absolutely beautiful on women of color I love this palette mostly because Jacqueline listened to us and when a brand or a company or a person listens to their audience, I love them for that. I love that she came out with a palette that not only had Champagne Pop, which was kind of rumored to be not suitable for African American skin tones. I love that she came out with another highlight color that goes well with darker skin tones. And she came out with blush shades that complement our skin tones as well. So that's why I would say it's worth the money because hard work and dedication was put into this. And not only that, but it caters to so many different skin tones and it's freaking gorgeous. So why not? Speaking of skin tones, y'all all, let me just tell you, people came for me in my uh, my drugstore video, which I'm not hurt by it. It happens. We put on the wrong foundation color. You know, you live and you learn. Shade is too light. Go into the store, getting me a darker shade. I was at Sephora and I was browsing and I wanted to try this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick because a lot of people have talked about this in the past and I never got a chance to try it and I freaking love. Oh my God. First of all, the color is perfect for me right now. It's the shade 177 by the way. It's so blendable. Everything I put on top of this blends so wonderfully. Like it just sinks into my skin and it makes my skin look so smooth and gorgeous and somebody asked me if I only liked it because my skin looks better now and my skin isn't as bumpy as it used to be that could have a little bit to do with it but at the same time I have really textured skin and I love the fact that this covers that texturedness up a lot more than other foundations do and it blends into it nicely powder this month would definitely have to be the airspun I've been trying the airspun powder for um, about a month I love this powder I got it at Walgreens it's actually almost better than Laura Mercier what? now I know I'm, I'm stepping into some scary territory right now talking about Laura Mercier powder because I know it's a holy grail for some people and I looked it up I think the only difference between this and Laura Mercier a few of the ingredients I feel like you can use this in place of Laura Mercier does a really great job of setting your makeup it doesn't give a flashback or a white cast if you don't use too much. It's really nice, it's a great loose face powder. If you needed a loose face powder and you don't wanna spend the money, boom. Skinny Dip by Jouer, and this is a lip topper. It's like a highlight for your lips, basically. And it's, it's, it's beautiful, I love it. It's a great highlight shade for your lips. ColourPop has the most amazing metallic lippies for the cheap cheap. If you did not get Kylie Jenner's new birthday collection and you couldn't get the gold metallic lip product or whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it's the same company that makes ColourPop products. Um, but my favorite one out of all of the ones that I've tried thus far, I just got four new ones, but the, my favorite one from the first round of the metallic lippies is Maneater. And I've been wearing Maneater for a good month. And you guys know I've been loving it because I've been wearing metallic lips ever since I got this. It's like a rose goldy shade and it looks so beautiful on top of so many different 
colors. I don't normally wear this by itself. You guys know I love to mix, so when I wear this, I do mix it with other things. You guys should definitely grab this one because I like it. And I think that is all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I'll be sure to do more favorites videos in the future. So, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!